Metalcore hard facing. It's what's for lunch. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here in Chattanooga, Tennessee at GarageBound LLC with my good friend, Michael Brandt. And we've got some cool stuff to do today. Yeah, we're in the shop. We have a bunch of these drill bits that we need to get hard faced up. And this is our first time doing hard facing and I'm never beyond learning. So we're gonna do some hard facing with our Miller Matic 355. Let's get into it. Before we get to just sending it, we wanna talk about what metal core is. Right now we're using 58 FCG, which is Blue Demon Brands hard facing wire. Now metal core, is a great way to put down a ton of metal and put down a lot of good characteristics. And what metal core is compared to flux core, whereas flux has all the flux and alloys in it, it's very similar, but it has more metallic powders and arc stabilizers as well as some other alloys inside the metal core wire. And that's what we're gonna use to cover up this drill stem. Now, while I'm dialing everything in, I'm getting the volts and the wire feed speed set to somewhere around 22 to 24 and 250 and 300. And another thing we noticed is you don't want a ton of 75, 25 mixed gas blowing over. We want a low CFH. But the real question that everyone asks is, why do you even want a hard face in the first place? So imagine if I took you and put you down in a hole and I'm spinning you and you're going down and down, you're probably gonna get wore out pretty quick. So it's going down through gravel, it's going down through sand, it's going down through dirt, friction and heat buildup. And eventually over time, the base material, which is some kind of carbon, I couldn't get an exact alloy of it, has been wearing down. But you can't just slap a bunch of hard facing rod. We do have to no. build up a little bit. So what you ended up doing was taking this piece of square stock, wrapping it around to give it that buildup. Now that is not a cutting edge. No. That's not hard, that's that soft. No. It's gonna be worn away super quick. So we're gonna totally encapsulate this quarter inch square bar that we welded all the way around it to give us some uh, better diameter and then we'll have fresh material to weld that hard facing to. <laughs> I think I could hold up a little bit better than that drill bit though. <laughs> so sure. <Shit. laughs> so right now our mission is just to get the edges of this A36 bar stock kind of sealed up. Man, that's a lot of porosity. <laughs> It's welding really good now. We got her dialed in. What I've noticed, Michael, is the trick to this, this wire with this gas is it absolutely needs the gas, but it actually kind of hates it. Just being too close, even with a low CFH, is giving me holes. Mm. If I got too high a gas, it's giving me holes. What? So there's a happy medium. There is. It, right now it's wanting to have that CTWD, that contact to work distance, somewhere like a 5 8 which is a little uncomfortable for most welders. Yeah, you, you, you got to be like a little further away. You get too close, you're going to see all these little bubbles and spitters and spatters and you get all these pinholes. But if we keep it far away, it seems to be doing a lot better. Man, I've never been a big fan of metal core, but it's putting down some iron and I really appreciate that. I've always seen guys use a bunch of stick rods and stuff for hard facing. Yeah, we don't do a whole lot of stick welding here at my shop. Typically, we just do MIG welding and TIG welding for everything. MIG welding just seems faster and less cleanup, less slag to chip off and all that stuff. So you can hard face with flux core, metal core, hard wire, TIG, stick. You just gotta find the right filler the right to the right filler. base metal. Right now, that tastes bad. That's because they were drilling last at a manure plant. <laughs> Luckily for us, as we troubleshoot this metal core wire, you know, we don't really know what these materials we're working on is other than the square stock we're using. So we are getting some pinholes here and there. This thing's gonna get worn down again and again. So a little bit of a pinhole here and there is gonna be kind of just okay for what we're doing. It doesn't hate going uphill, does it? It is an uphill process. <laughs> you want more wire? Yeah, I think it could use it. It seems okay. I think we're dialing her in now. Yeah, going uphill is the way to go. And yeah. if you start at the bottom and work your way up, you can rest against it because it's not hot yet. But it seems to be the trick right now for this is uphill, 21 volts, 260 on the wire feed speed. We're trying to maintain somewhere around a five eighths of distance to the work and running that 75-25 gas at about 15 to 20 CFH. A lot lower than I typically would have for dual shield or hard wire. Hey Michael, watch my feet. 
<laughs> boot scooting boogie? Oh yeah, we're gonna boot scoot around this old dog here. 20 bucks if you can boot scoot all the way to the top. You're just trying to get me to weld everything. Nah, man. But if you did weld it all, then I wouldn't have to. This is the product of wrong gun angle. Yep. That's it. We didn't do anything different from here to this weld here other than the gun angle that we were working with. You can mitigate a lot of these issues if you just burn it up. Push it. But we put a lot of meat on this thing today, we put Michael. a lot of wire on this, yeah. This one's never gonna wear out. Troubleshooting this metal core process it hasn't been easy. We, we decided that uphill was the way to go, but we were putting so much metal down. There's so beefy that it was like, man, can we try downhill again? And the downhill worked again. So for me, metal core is a freaking enigma. Don't ask me, let us know in the comments, right? Yeah, maybe some of you guys do this day in and day out. It's labor intensive, it takes a long time. And if you were stick welding that, man, you'd be here a lot longer than if you were sitting here slinging this yeah. wire. I so, do think that the MIG welding's faster. It just depends, guys. It depends on what you're doing, how you like to do it. You know, don't take it from us. We're not professionals There's more here. than one way to skin that cat. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one.